Hey guys, welcome back. We forgot to film an intro for today's Mwah. Skincare Sunday, so we are just jumping right into it, which I'm sure some of you appreciate. So I bought the ColourPop, new ColourPop foundation. I bought two different colors. This is what it looks like. It was kind of liquidy. Um, I tested both colors on my face. It looks like the top one was the best match out of both. You can see that this foundation is super pigmented. Um, and this is also the foundation brush that it came with. I did notice that at least the two shades that I got were a little bit more on the yellow side, which is sometimes what I like in a foundation, but this was a little too yellow. This is what it looks like when I was all finished. It looked pretty good. I didn't have any complaints, especially with only spending 12 bucks on this foundation. Um, let me know what you guys think in um, the comments below, but let's get into what I think after I wore it. All right, guys, I'm back. It's a couple hours later. And these lights are so bright. <laughs> these lights always end up being so bright. I would just want to go like this. So looking at this foundation, this happens with a lot of foundations. It always looks good right here in this area. But as you get to the T-zone and the forehead, I don't love it. And I, I'm starting to just think that it's my skin. So we have a couple creasing, a little bit of creasing going on here and a little bit of creasing going on on my forehead. It started to get a little bit textured on my forehead. If you guys zoom you guys in. So it's a little bit textured on my forehead as well as kind of around this area. Overall though, you guys, for this foundation being super affordable, I still think that it looks pretty good. Um, I don't have much to complain about. The color that I matched myself with was pretty good as well. I did end up mixing just a little bit of each together, the medium 80 and the medium 100. I think the medium in between was a little too red for me. Oh, these lights are still so bright. Oh my God. Looking on it from afar, I think it looks pretty good. I think that I might just add like a little dewy setting spray and it might bring this this whole look back to life. Um, but with that being said, you guys, that's really it for my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Review. I would say definitely give it a shot. It is a very affordable foundation. I That's why I gave it a shot. Sometimes it's a little harder to fork up $60 and be like, yeah, I'm gonna give this foundation a shot. Whereas you can fork up like, I think these were $15 and just be like, yeah, let's actually give this a shot. So. I would say I would give this a thumbs up considering all of the aspects of this foundation, the price, the packaging, the actual um, foundation itself, the wear time and whatnot. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. But thank you guys for watching yet another foundation review with me. If you do get to try out the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation, we love you guys. Keep it golden, pony boy. Please make sure to subscribe right here and check out all of my foundation reviews right here. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.